Dear students, today we will discuss phylum Cylentrata. Dear students, phylum Cylentrata means the animals having sac like body or these are nidarians. Phylum Nidaria means these have special type of cells for defense. These are stinging cells. These are nidoblasts. These are nematoblasts. So this phylum is named Nidaria. प्यारे बच्चों ये जितने भी हमने नोट्स बनाए हैं उन सब की पीडीएफ फाइल हमने वीडियो लेक्चर उसके डिस्क्रिप्शन में अपलोड कर दिए हैं सभी बच्चे अपने नोट्स डाउनलोड कर लें अच्छी तरह से स्टडी करें प्यारे बच्चों वीडियो लेक्चर के थ्रू प्रॉपरली आपको स्टडी करना है तो टूडेज लेक्चर स्पेशली इट इज डिजाइन फॉर ऑल बी एस सी स्टूडेंट एंड ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स द फाइलम सिलेंट्रेटा मीन्स द एनिमल्स The body is sac-like. These are also named Nidaria, Nidarians, because they use special type of cells for defense mechanism, and these cells are nidoblast, nematoblast, stinging cells, as well as this phylum is named competition, but so radiata, because exclusively the symmetry is radial. That's why these are cylindrates, these are nidarians, and these are grouped in radiata, phylum radiata, phylum cylindrata, phylum nidaria, phylum radi radiata. Their animal nature, and that animal nature was proved by two great scientists, and these scientists, Pisonel and Tremblay. while this term cylentrata and this term cylentrata was coined by another scientist leucard while this term nidaria due to presence of stinging cells this term nidaria it was coined by hatchack in this phylum cylentrata very important phylum very important phylum for all neat competitive exams as well as bsc students not down this phylum includes about 9000 living species some important characteristic features of phylum cylentrata are studied as habitat very important very important point these are strictly aquatic forms exclusively most of forms are marine forms except a few forms are fresh water like hydra that is a fresh water forms some cylentrates show sedentary life sessile life as their body gets attached to solid substratum some are free swimming हमने कहा बच्चों सम आर फ्री स्विमिंग लाइक ऑरेलिया सम आर फ्री फ्लोटिंग लाइक फाइसालिया सम आर सोलिट्री दे लिव इंडिपेंडेंटली लाइक हाइड्रा एंड सम आर फाउंड इन ग्रुप्स दे आर कॉलोनियल फॉर्म्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हम स्टडी करेंगे बच्चों टाइप स्टडी में ओबेलिया द सी फॉर द ओबेलिया ए कॉलोनियल फॉर्म्स इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नोट करें कॉम्पिटिशन स्टूडेंट्स Some cylindrates are epigoic. Epigoic means these cylindrates grow on other animal bodies. हमने कहा बच्चों, these cylindrates grow on the body surface of other animals. Like John Thus की बात करें बच्चों, this John Thus is epigoic. एक एक competition के लिए बताएं examples को. नोट करें अच्छी तरह से हमने कहा जॉन थर्स एंड दिस जॉन थर्स इज ए सिलेंट्रेट विच इज एपिजोइक एज इट ग्रोस ऑन द बॉडी सरफेस ऑफ अनदर एनिमल्स लाइक हार्मिट क्रैप स्पॉन्च बॉडी कॉरस शेल ऑफ मॉलस क्या कहा हमने एपिजोइक एज इट ग्रोस ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ अदर एनिमल्स लाइक हार्मिट क्रैप स्पॉन्जेस कॉरस shell of mollusk some are another important example another important point that is comanchalisms 
Some cilantrates show comanchalism. They leave as comanches. Very important example that is sea anemone, Adamsia. And this cilantrate, Adamsia, it leaves as comanchal with the association of hermit crab, Eupagoras. Scientific name be not correct, but so Eupagoras. This hermit crab, which involves in the transportation of this sedentary life anemone. And this sea anemone, this Adamsia, it provides a protection like umbrella, Comanchalism. Some cylindrates are solitary, found singly, hydra. Some are colonial, like Ovelia colony. Second point, level of organization. Level of organization. These organisms, these cylindrates, have tissue level of organization. Dear students, before this chapter, before this phylum, we have already studied phylum porifera. And in phylum porifera, only cells aggregation. That was cellular level of organization. In phylum protozoa, a cellular level of organization. But in this phylum cylindrata, tissue level of organization. Means, means cells aggregate, they work in coordination and cells, particularly the nerve cells, the nerve cells generally coordinate to form nervous tissue that is collectively named nerve nets. You can point out, which you need students, BSc student, show type questions, nerve net means the nerve cells coordinate to produce a nervous tissue. They show tissue level of organization. No organs, no organ system. Symmetry, very important point for all competitive exams. Symmetry, exclusively. It is radial symmetry. That's why this phylum cylindrata, also named as radiata. All these cylindrates, all these nidarians, are grouped as radiata in some forms like Adamsia, sea anemone. The symmetry is biradial. How many kabacho? Symmetry is biradial. As the body can be divided into two equal halves by two vertical planes. That's why these are biradial symmetrical. Germ layers. Germ layers. Not down very important point, the phylum porifera, how many are diploblastic? And this phylum cylindrata, again diploblastic. Means entire body is derived from two germ layers. Body wall, body wall of cylindrate. And in this body wall, two layers of cells are present. This outer layer of cells, it is epidermis. And this inner layer of cell that is gastrodermis. This epidermis is derived from embryonic ectoderm. And this inner gastrodermis, it is derived from inner embryonic endoderm. But so, means entire body is derived from two germ layers. Embryonic ectoderm and that gives rise epidermis. And embryonic endoderm gives rise gastrodermis. Between these two epidermis and gastrodermis, between these two layers, another third layer which is non-cellular without cells and this one is, this one is mesoglia. Dear students, note down. These are diploblastic. Phylum porifera, also diploblastic. In this epidermis, some very important cells for competitive exams, these cells are epitheliomuscular cells. How many call epithelio? Means they produce an outer covering layer, protective layer. And muscular, it means these cells act as a protective layer, protective cells, as well as these are muscular cells. These are muscular cells which involve in movements, muscular activities. 
another type of cells in this epidermis and these cells are interstitial cells not on very important point interstitial cells means these are tart important cells and these interstitial cells have power to give rise to replace other cells these cells may produce other cells tart important interstitial cells special type of cells special type of cells on the basis of these cells this entire phylum is named cnidaria in their this outer body wall layer in this outer layer epidermis these special type of cells used for defense and these cells are named cnidoblast nematoblast or these are stinging cells in tomorrow's lecture i will discuss in detail these nidoblast very important very important structure means tomorrow's lecture very important kya kaam hai bachcho in this outer layer of body wall some epithelial muscular cells which act as a protective coat protection ka kaam karenge bachcho as well as these cells act as muscle cells some special type of cells which give rise which replace other cells these are interstitial these are tart important cells and the special type of cells involved in defense body defense these are nidoblast nematoblast stinging cells and some more type of cells these are sensory cells ciliated sensory cells serve as sensory in function and these cells in the basal part these are nerve cells they collectively constitute primitive nervous system in this gastrodermis in this inner layer of in this inner layer of body wall some important type of cells which are this one is endothelial muscular cells dear students endothelial muscular cells endothelial means provide protection and muscular serve as muscles as well as these cells are nutritive or digestive cells it means digestion of food digestion of food that takes place inside the cells it is intracellular digestion and that digestion of food occurs inside these endothelial muscular cells that's why these are nutritive these are digestive cells these are nutritive muscular cells because they also act as muscle cells and also involved in digestion of food some special type of cells which are glandular cells or secretory cells some cells are sensory cells some are nerve cells and but so some very important cells these are in this gastrodermis interstitial cells tart important cells to give rise another cells to pyare bachcho ye sara sab kuch jo hum discuss kar rahe bachcho these are general characteristic features of phylum cilentrata in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss very important points like which nematoblast stinging cells and some more important characteristic features thank you